and welcome, everyone, to Dragon Ball Z League 2020 season, mid-season event. I'm Ryan. And I'm God. Yes, everyone grab your broom and dustpans. We're going to do a little bit of spring cleaning in August. Yes, yes. It's time for the fall sweep out. The, the 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 Black Friday sale. I don't I, I don't know any other uh, metaphors. <laughs> Covid's still around. Keep wiping. Yes. Keep uh keep wearing your mask and uh stuff and whatnot. Anyway, the Sweeper Games for those that are new this season or don't even remember last season's event. Uh, essentially, each team submitted one character to try and fight an entire team of buildless characters uh, and just see who can get through them. That's basically it. The opposing team you can see is on the field. And uh, this season, instead of just having five characters with no builds, these are going to be four characters with 10,000 less health, but a plus one to every stat. So it basically each, uh, each team tried to put uh, something that would end up uh, at least getting through a uh, basically an elite performance. I think the sad part is, I think only Goldo is going to have above neutral defense. I think everybody's still going to be at like minus one except for him. Does Blue have negative defense? Uh, he's a Dragon Ball character. He might have minus one or minus two. That is a very good point. I completely. I know Bobbity's minus two, and I think Frieza Soldier's minus two, which puts him. And Goldo got buffed to neutral for this league, so. <laughs> Hmm. Well, yeah. uh, we It'll have damaged. We have 16 matches. Uh, should be a shorter stream today, but, you know, depending on the matches, it could be a while. Uh, so our first match, the androids who have decided to bring Perfect Cell. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so really easy. Perfect Cell, TAC plus one, Eternal Life, Serious, Latent Energy, Broly's running on Cell AI. So the normal, replace Savior with Latent. Still not letting him go super perfect, though. I don't know if they are allowed to take the Broly's ring off from this. No, they are not. And we're going to have up against Frieza Soldier, as said before, has Ultimate Warrior, which is a plus one to all stats, but minus 10k HP. So, how yeah. far can he go? So, each character will have 30... Ooh, Energy Wave. 30,000 health. So, e essentially, not counting tags, each person has to do about 120,000 uh points worth of damage, which is the equivalent to an elite. Yeah, nobody has any healing. Uh, Bobbity's grab absorbs key, but it doesn't, like, steal health or in the terms of giving it back to him. It just does the damage. So, only way to gain health is tags, which, uh, that's always an interesting part is how will these... Because I, I think they're on default AI, right? So they still have just to tag on their own and default yeah. AI has always been a weird one. D default AI, nothing really... Uh, significant, like these are not actual builds that you'd be able to test these characters on if they were on your master list. It's just here's the weakest characters that are in the game. Let's just see what they do against a actual modded character. Yeah, funny enough, you could get close if you did like super plus one launches, quick fast attack gets you like most of the way there. Though quick fast attack obviously not the closest to it, but you get the idea trying to get those stats up though since most of them have that negative defense the defense plus one's not you, you know the that. most influential but man cell is uh he's taking a beat and frieza soldiers putting the pummeling on and he hasn't even finished him off yet no yeah like cells at half health granted cell has eternal life in which you'll see that as a running theme through uh this week um i think 11 teams put eternal life on a character or their MVP was their Eternal Life character, so they kind of just sent that guy anyways, yeah. which is uh, a chunk of them. Life risking blow? Might be half that. Life risk? No. No, but he'll use two oh. hands. <laughs> he got the hit. And he's full power charge. You can go back for a life risking blow. Life risking blow. Oh, if he man. Does a life Will risking Cell get blow? taken out by Frieza Soldier? Oh, my God. That'd be hilarious. Oh. Uh, that is a no. He at least eliminates one. But he's lost, like. More than half his health. Yeah. And he has Leighton, as we said. Ooh. Ooh, good dodge. But he's gonna have to start hitting some, I mean, he has Super Kamameha, so he can indeed, you know, if you full charge hit that, that'll take out most of a character here. 
That is a very good point. But, and I if mean, we've seen it, anything from playoffs, he loves his old. But I mean, look at this. Oh, General Blue. I'll oh, shoot you. Oh, he misses. We got oh, nice dodge, points. though. Oh, my goodness. We might, like, this might be a harder sweeper game than last year. And last year, we only had two people complete it. Yeah, I mean, most teams struggle. Um, I don't remember both. I could maybe try to peek through the badge section to scroll my way up there. But I do know Basha was one of the only ones to complete it. Uh... Yeah, Basha and Cooler. Uh, Adult Trunks was close, and Adult Trunks didn't have healing. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's basically it. I don't, and Cooler might have only had Dende's last time, if I remember correctly. I think he was uh, more focused on having a bunch of stats, and Fasha only had Dende's as well. So not quite the same as this season, where we're going to see a lot of eternal life. Oh, oh, Blue uh. dodged that, which keeps him around. I and mean, in terms of comparing to Freeze of Soldier, he hasn't done anywhere near the same amount, but in terms of this competition, <laughs> that was still a very large amount. Now, Goldo, we did some testing with uh, Ryan taking on this challenge, and uh, Goldo was his stopper. <laughs> yeah, Seems he could always get through the first two. Goldo kept crushing it. He's uh, been if, hit, what is it, grab rocks, into B2? Yeah, if he rocks right now, uh, that's it. If it hits, oh, but it missed. Ooh, there you Ooh, go. Nice return. Yeah, I think Goldo might be the only one who has plus one defense with the uh, boost from this week. So he will actually be taking the least amount uh, compared to all the other characters. Because due to modding, he has gained some much needed Rock. stats over the years. Ooh, he blocked it. Good for Cell. That, e that eternal life is helping Cell so much right now. Yeah, it's really starting to hit a lot. Uh, I mean, he's taken two characters down to one, and there's only one full health character left in Bobbity. Mm -hmm. uh, but we know how devastating. Goldo has like a, almost like a command grab style ult. Oh, and he's dead. Yeah, but I mean, even if it's just a little bit worth the damage, Cell will go down very quickly, I think. But you have the weakest, yeah, I... what, the weakest melee character here? Yeah, he is the lowest melee damage That's in the it. game. Somehow he had less than <laughs> Hercule. So here's Pui Pui. He's getting modded in next season, I hope. Um, is he? <laughs> no. But he'd be, he, he's at the top of my list, apparently. So, you know. Oh, wow. Cell just disintegrated. Oh, no. There he is. Yeah. So, uh, basically got down to about four bars. So did about 70 or 80. So not bad. Herself. Typical to his normal weekly performance, but not quite the elite level needed to take on the sweeper game. Exactly. And after androids, it's Budokai with uh, General Tao. So this is Mercenary Tao coming in costume two. With key plus one, serious light body eternal life on Chatsu AI. So keeping with the trend, uh, uh, if you want to know, I don't think it's until we get to derp that we get off eternal life. So we have yes. several more eternal life fighters <laughs> But this one is an interesting, going with the light body um, to try to keep, I, I think he has false courage, so they're gonna try to hope he stays in ultimate body and just ignore his opponents and take him out. That's actually not a bad idea. Ooh, nice 1600 uh, smash attack. That seemed to have been doing a lot more damage when I was like playing as Trunks earlier, but. <laughs> yeah, I think you were on attack plus two on Trunks though. I was. So, yeah. so you had defense minus, and he is an attack plus, so... Don't on paw! Uh, beautiful camera work there, Steve. We couldn't even see yeah, it. Yeah, thank you, Steve. <laughs> we fired Zach to get Steve, and Steve's just, uh... Wait, who is Zach? I have to call back Zach. Zach is whenever I run him. He likes to hide himself inside cliffs. Oh, yeah. I had to fire him, and that's when you guys picked up Steve, because I ran the first four weeks and had Zach. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to give you a better cameraman. Well, Frieza Soldier not doing as hot again. Well, I, I say that now, and he's already doing basically equivalent to what he did against Cell. If he takes one more bar, then he will have done equivalent, because Cell was basically at two bars. Argue Tau's still in the healthy to you three know, bar I range. I wonder but... something. Uh, oh, and a tag from Frieza Soldier. I was I was going to wonder if Energy Wave and Dodon Pa could clash. 
or if they would cancel each other. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I had about... Alright, I, hey. I, I don't know what happened again. <laughs> it happened again. Tao had, Tao had false courage activated, so it screwed up the animation of the B2. And he's getting a lot of these dote on pause, which is, you know, a big part of this is not just doing melee. Um, that's more important for next week's Olympians, but for this one, yeah, sprinkling in every B2 thrown up is a very important. So, fun fact, technical cannon match, because General Tao killed General Blue. That is right. This is, might With be the only time we ever get to see this. Though technically hybrids have blue on their uh, been telling free them, agent roster lock. I've been telling them release blue Han, but they won't do it. So, well, he's about on par. Um, you could say he's technically, but Cell was at the same spot, but he had Freeze's soldier defeated at the Ooh. same amount of HP. Well, that was a quick fire on the uh, energy wave volley as well. Yeah, Goldo throwing it out, but getting caught in his little uh, dance afterwards. Uh, another do wow, Cyborg Tao, or not Cyborg General Tao. Uh, General Tao being like Budokai is the strongest. Yeah, he is throwing out these B twos with impurity. I know this is a build that they've certainly tested, so this isn't like, oh hey, we're just putting Eternal Life on him. This is like a something they were heavily considering mm. as well during the season. This key plus one Eternal Life. So uh, not surprising to see it come out here, and it's just you can see, even though these are weaker characters, it's putting in the work. Uh, he's doing pretty good right now. If he can take out. You know, Goldo without losing this bar, he'll be in a better spot going up against Bobbity. Yeah, but if Goldo owed ults, I think that'll be it for Tao. Yeah, I think he might have a defense minus since he's a Dragon Ball character, which means uh, we know that ult from Goldo does what, like 16k, 14k? 14k, and... Rock misses completely. Goldo, you had a chance to prove your worth in your blue or your purple little Saiyan armor getup. It, it, it is blue. Okay, I don't know. I'm colorblind. It's all good. <laughs> it streams 140p right now, so I can't see the colors either. Ooh. Not not the YouTube one. Don't on paw to uh, Bobbity missed. All right. Uh, well, I think Tao. This is, is... Uh, this is the same about life that uh, Cell died at, right? Because yeah. there was one character who tagged, but it was it was Blue Han before. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like, uh, you know, if somebody tags, like, it might be the fourth character. Briefly, nice shot. Blocks. Oh, he went for the same exact combo that took out Cell as well. Uh, combo yeah, Con does it, though. And I think uh, General Blue, or General Tau, did, I think, the exact same amount of damage as uh, yeah. uh, Cell. Wow, 12,000. What? It was roughly the same. Uh, yeah, again, super plus one, and I think he had a defense minus. The one thing Bobby's always had for him is he also has a uh, very strong B2s. They're just rushes, so, you know, hit or miss. Yeah. Well, you know, we... that's two matches. We still have more. Match number two three. Two more for this episode, yeah. Match number three, it's the Buhans with, uh, this is your team. This is uh, this the... Team Bujin. The Buhan. This is or, yeah. This sorry. is Kid Boo. <laughs> Not Boo. Kid Boo uh, became the MVP quite recently. Key plus one, Fighting Spirit, Quick Fast Attack, Eternal Life on TN AI. Uh, obviously, Savior not too applicable here. So put on Quick Fast Attack because he attacks very fast. I mean that is a very good point. And he's got the Eternal Life again. So I mean you know it. There you go. Yeah, but it's like Androids where this is his actual build, just one Patara, the savior, swapped off. Uh-oh. Ooh. Energy yeah, take wave will hit a little too anxious on that melee. <laughs> Holy crap, that grab. He just destroyed the ground with that throw. That was such a quick fire Kamehameha as well, Jesus. Yeah, uh, definitely in the same boat as Mercenary Tau, where it's going to be on B2's hit, more focused with that key plus one to do that instead of the melee, but both had a melee boost. 
Sirius on Tau and quick fast attack here. And man, we might see an ult already. Who knows? Kid Boo oh. likes to throw out his planet burst. Yep, that's going to immediately eliminate Frieza Soldier. Kid Boo doing the best already out of the three characters we've seen. Yeah, I think he's the first one not to lose half his HP from Frieza Soldier. Okay. So, impressive. Yeah, and Frieza Soldier. But now we know the Frieza Soldier build, right? You pick him up as a free agent, super plus one, launches quick fast attack, and whatever random stuff you need. Obviously, it works half decent against Cell and uh, Mercenary Tau. Yeah, so. It, yeah, I guess Frieza Soldier, like this match, you know, just the. Just kind of the AI thing did help pushbacks and whatnot, but. Uh, Kid Boo here has been very aggressive, so. Yeah, I would give that to, um, for anybody who's enjoyed submitting tests, TN AI is a hyper-aggressive AI. However, it's also hyper-aggressive at running into everything. So it is one of those, you gotta have the right character to make it work, for sure. And that is what is currently he's abusing right now, because Kid Boo has a lot of things about him that are very good for offense. Oh, well, we see a, uh, rocket attack, because, like, that would be kind of fun if Blue went to, uh, Max power mode. Yeah, we could see that. Um, Kid Boo only has 1v1. Maybe an instant transmission randomly comes out because he's going to be at full blast stocks for pretty much the rest of the fight. I, I don't think he'll be well enough. Uh, Kid Boo had I'm instant the worst. As, a, as a thing. Yeah, I'm the worst. Basically, his finish sign. Up, but uh, that was definitely his finish sign. <laughs> yeah, he's he is the worst. That is for sure. Uh, though he did more than Frieza Soldier. Don't know if that's saying much. Rock. Missed. I think I think Kid Boo could do it. Oh, you jinxed it. He's going to get bull bobbity now. His master's on the horizon. <laughs> the only oh. true cannon fight. Not really, though. He technically uh, only Bibbity would have seen him, right? Because Bobbity's his son and came like way later. Yes, that is true. Yes. I'm pretty sure Bobbity only ever saw Fat Boo. Fat Boo then Fat Boo and... him. No, yeah. No, Fat Boo kills Boo. him. Yeah. Oh, pinball panic. And he stands up into it. Oh, this is not going well for the sweeper team. Well, we've seen him do tags before, and Goldo's technically their highest stat character, so uh, if he does some tag game with Bobbity, a nice paralysis into a combo here. Wow. And that was without exquisite skill. Oh, he's gonna. Nope. You moron. He is the smart. <laughs> he is All right. the smart. This is a this is a weirdly even fight for the last one. I don't think we were expecting to see it this soon, but no. uh, here we are. Now Bobbity again has uh, the master, and uh, his ult will probably do like 20k if he hits it, just because super plus one, and it's already a massive he's... damage ult. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I was gonna say he's not on super plus one, but he's on a plus one of everything. <laughs> And here's the Pui Pui. This will do a nice 8 to 10k. Hey, Kid Boo has finally dropped below oh, half seven. health. But he is in ult mode. Uh, I don't know what he nice wants to shot. do, though. Ooh. He's going to get Pui Pui to death, obviously. But you, you jinxed it. Well, you know, he can't fight his master's son. He has a special connection. That's why he's uh, still... Correction, chat is saying it's his clone. No. Either way, he looks like a uh, he looks like a grape, and I don't think it matters. I'm a pretty, grape that I'm died to Fat Boo. Pretty sure that it's uh, his son. Oh, he tried demon dying him. Uh, that would have uh -oh. been pretty rough. This is going to be pretty rough too. Oh okay. well, no more cell games. That's it for the sweeper event, my guys. Uh, it's going to take us a while to refurbish this whole area. Oh my goodness. I mean. Brought, brought it back to even, but Bobbity's been on top, and Bobbity has some of the best rush blasts in the game, so he's got to uh -oh. be careful keeping his distance. Oh, he's just doing it. Nope, that is it. Kid Boo wins. Okay, at, like, we have our first sweeper. Woo! He wins with like 5,000 health left. Not bad. Yeah, it was it was actually pretty close. Bobbity actually did um, almost all of Kid Boo's health there, to be honest. It took three characters to take one bar, and Bobbity did two. Yeah, so I mean, that was very good. Good job, uh, the Boojins, on being the first winners. Will we see a follow-up with Cinema using Gogeta? So Cinema, the other, was one of two teams that got it last season. 
Though they did Fasha last season. This season, we have Gogeta with key plus two, super minus one, eternal life, serious, latent energy. So, uh, and Cell AI. So this one is a change. A little yes. change of pace. Different character, at least. So, I am the one who will destroy you. I have a feeling, like, because Gogeta is a fused character, like, this is definitely going to be a lot more damage that Gogeta's going to dish out here. Oh, but Yeah, I, uh... It's going to be an interesting one, um, because, funny enough, half of his build is taken by Pitar in the normal season. Just Rush Blast 3. <laughs> uh, does he have Gen Days or no heal? He has Eternal Life. Oh. Keep us through Eternal Life, serious late. Um, and Frieza Soldier is already making him use his uh, stacking ones. And yeah, this is uh, not what you want to do. Kid Buu showed you have to take no life and just totally take out Frieza and Buhan, or Bluhan before getting into the third character. So you got to be kind of careful there, Kajita. Yeah, Frieza, like Frieza Soldier, other than the Kid Buu fight so far, decently well. Super Explosive Wave. And Frieza Soldier flew into it. Super minus one and only hit a couple times, so didn't quite take him out. But yeah, but I think it's this the equivalent of a health pushback, though. Yeah. Uh, Gotta give him credit. That boy is a spammer. He points oh his God. finger at everything. Frieza Soldier. Tag. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bobby out early. Yeah, He's he been is. doing some of the highest damage, so uh, this might be really bad. I mean, though it could be good. Because if he takes him out, doesn't that mean that the character that's been doing the most damage is out sooner? Yes. That Well, I mean, other than Frieza Soldier, yes. <laughs> but I mean, Ooh, did, you see that, did you see that Rush Blast from uh, Bobbity? It did like 2100, 2200 on no build, basically. Well, it technically is attack plus one, which does boost him. But I think Bobbity has some of the highest Rush Blasts like, in the game. Uh, like just damage wise it's one of those he uh -oh. gets the weakest melee but they balanced it by giving him some of the best rush blasts will we see a stardust breaker we be nice shot will we see anything? Flash. this might win because of the rush uh -oh. yeah he wins it again yak on his next Ooh, this is going to be damage can i just say thank you bobbity for at least being like Every time he does Pui Pui, he immediately follows up with Yakan is next. So he really does make Yakan next. <laughs> 9,000. Gogeta's already down to his last health bar. Oh, that was a nice big bang Kamameha, though. Well, there goes I think Bobby. it was a quick fire. But in comes the menace of Frieza Soldier. He's back. He's, you didn't defeat me before. <laughs> He's punching him out of grabs and stuff, so... <laughs> Oh, one key blast? Oh, there wow. you go. All right, well, it went from looking like he might not take any characters out to quickly taking out two, though he still has two oh, more sure to go. Do. Oh, um, uh, hmm. Well, all Blue has to do is hit him with another rocket. Or this clash. Oh, wow, that's, and that's it. that's it. Uh, I think that's the worst performance that's it for we've episode... had so far. Yeah, that's the worst performance to end off the episode, unfortunately. Ooh, but... That's only one fourth of our league. We still have another uh, the, the twelve teams. Uh, yeah. To do this. With. Sixteen minus four is twelve. We yes. did it, Ryan. We that, solved math. You know, I'm an accountant. <laughs> but that's good. That's not gonna be until next episode. So make sure to do your usual YouTube thing of liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. Check out our description to go to our Discord and our website so you can learn more about the league. Uh, but until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Dorgard. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.